Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at a bird watt meter and we're going to specifically look at model 16. Uh, model 16, uh, the very common watt meter that is available by bird is actually model 43. Uh, model 43 basically used for if you have like constant amplitude and steady sinusoidal waves. But when it comes to digital communication and where you're transmitter is using let's say digital modulation schemes uh, you get a very accurate wattage reading with in terms of plus and minus five percent of accuracy using model 16 so this is specifically designed to measure watt uh, power uh, when you have digital communication systems or digital modulation is being a scheme which is being used so we're going to basically look at few things so this is model 16 Impedance, as we said early in, um, in our microwave tutorials, is actually 50 ohms, which is sort of like an industry standard. With, this uh, is quite similar to model 43 uh, with just few changes. Uh, this is battery operated, so you need our 9 volt battery, which goes in the back. So you just simply open this up. You can insert your uh, 9 volt battery there. So this is one change when it comes to model 43. The second then thing that you would see that it has this rotating knob. This rotating knob is actually turns off on and off your, your watt meter. So, so this is in a battery and the, when your watt meter is turned on, just simply have this on, on position and insert your element and apply your input here on this side and measure the uh, output at your load at this particular side. So this is just a dummy load. Uh, this dummy load is there so you don't get dust into that element where you have this uh, uh, where the measurement takes place from input to output and things like that. You can basically remove this dummy load. So make sure when it's, when it's not in use you have your dummy load inserted in so you don't get dust inside of it. So this is that just dummy load. There are different type of loads which are av available for for these watt meters. So the load that I have available right now, I have it with me, is actually this. Uh, so uh, this model comes with different elements. I'm just going to call them elements and this particular element is rated for frequency 100 to 250 megahertz but you can get up to the loads which are available on birds website are up to 2.3 gigahertz from 2 megahertz all the way up to 2.3 gigahertz uh, so different elements are available the element that I have it actually rated for 100 to 250 megahertz in terms of frequency and the wattage for this particular uh, element is 25 watt so when you are inputting your signal, make sure it gets between this particular frequency and this much wattage. You cannot go over or uh, you can go under it, but you cannot go over these values which are stated on this element. So in order for me to insert it, just simply insert this like this. So let me just turn this off. And once you have it inserted, just hit this. Now your load is perfectly fine. So, when you're looking at the arrow, this means this is your input, this is your output. So, the arrow is indicating that you are measuring the uh, watt, the power of your system, when you have your input here and your load is connected on this side. You can turn this around. Now, you can measure the reverse power as well. When you have this thing turned around, you can like this, which means now you're measuring the reverse wattage from here over to this side when you have it like this it's mean your this is your input this is your output when you have it like this this is your input and this is your output all right so uh, when you're moving this around as you can see this is not moving so make sure you have your dummy load or your 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 actual element which is connected which is inserted on this spot so these needles won't move around uh, the connection that is uh, available on your watt meter is 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 it's a basic design is better than I think is better than model 43 because uh, in model 43 you have uh, extra holes here so you can put like your 
extra loads extra elements inserted here just to be on the safe side uh, so here this thing is has an n type connector so you can just unscrew this and you can change this to any type of connector which is available on their website but i have it on one side n type connector on the other side i have the same thing i also have n type right here so so this is also n type this is your n type so let's say if i want a major wattage of this i will insert my input here and then i will connect my load and then i'll measure how much wattage that is coming out from my load uh, so that's the basic idea behind how to use bird watt meter they are still being sold it's a very beautiful design to measure high high wattages of power um, and this specific model which is model 16 this is specifically designed for digital communication systems where it uses where it doesn't use a constant amplitude or steady sinusoids because digital signals are in, in a form of a burst so it's a very handy tool to have uh, for any RF engineer uh, uh, and that's it that's all I have to say so if you have any questions uh, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel